In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the different document types used in CATIA. Let's start by opening some documents. Select File, Open. You see here I have some CATIA documents. I can select and open one of the documents. I can do a multiple selection as well. Here you can see that the multiple document names appear in this field and CATIA will open them at one time. Click Open and you see that the documents open in a cascade view. On top is our active document. You can browse through the documents or select Window, Tile Vertically, Tile Horizontally. This allows you to view the docs simultaneously. Our .cat part document is CATIA's basic fundamental document where you create a solid. When we put these parts together into a part assembly, we use what's called a CAT product document. Now you can see part 1, part 2, and part 3 represented right here in this part assembly document. If I expand this tree, I see the same basic part. If I expand it even more, like you see, this part and this part look identical because they're the same part. Now, this part assembly document can be a sub assembly for some other part assembly document. Let's open a couple more documents Products 2 and 3. We'll tile them horizontally and collapse these trees. Now you can see these two .cat product documents are sub-assembly documents for product 3.cat product. If I expand this tree, I actually see inside product 1 the same parts as in the product 1 file. If I keep expanding the subpart trees, we'll see the same basic parts represented right here. Okay. Let's activate product 1. Select Edit, Links. Now we see product 1 actually contains links to part 1, part 2, and part 3. If we check product 3, select Edit, Links, we will see links to subassembly product 1 and product 2. Finally, let's check part 1. Select Edit, Links. We can see here that part 1 doesn't contain any links. The reason is because part documents are basic fundamental documents in CATIA. Another type of document we use in CATIA is called the .cat drawing document. This concludes our tutorial on document types.